astrological ages. A wealth of a topic, considering we're undergoing a shifting right now. It, it, the shifting right now from one astrological age to another. And of all the shifts that we've undergone as, as souls, as human beings on Earth, For the past, I mean, you know, from the beginning of, of human, of humanity. This is, at least in, in recorded human history, the biggest shift ever. <laughs> Still a little sick, as you can hear, but not important. <sighs> Astrological ages. Before talking about the current shift, the Aquarian Age, let's back up and set the groundwork first, the foundation, make sense of where this is all coming from and where it's going. So let's go back 4,000 years. We could go back even farther, but 4,000 years is a good, good starting point. 4,000 years ago, about was the age of Aries with the influence of Libra. This is about, what, I mean, 2000 BC to 0 BC, something like that. Each astrological age is about 2000 years, 2400 or so. I guess we should define an astrological age first. Huh? An astrological age is when the energies affecting earth and people, souls, life, is going through certain energies. So, on the personal scale, all these energies are, are, are happening. You know, people are born, no matter what age, as far as I know, anyways, I don't know, maybe, uh, one other thing to discover. But, as far as human recorded history goes, Every single age, people are born in all 12 signs. Uh, Sag, Scorpio, Capricorn, all of it. But there is one energy that is dominating that time. Well, specifically two, because the partner sign of that one energy is there too. And so in the case of 2000, about then, BCE, to zero BCE, or at least, you know, what we call zero in the West, um, was the age of Aries with Libra. Now, this is fascinating because, ah, there we go, Buddha. In that time, we had a lot of Libran, amazing, amazing, life-changing, society, culture, humanity-changing thinkers. Libra, air, understanding. Oh, okay. Balance, teaching, Buddha, Confucius, Socrates, all these teachers wanted to know more, wanted to know the ultimate purpose. And all of them stressed moderation in doing so, very Libra, very balanced. Interesting, too, because in this time, there's so much warring happening. You know, that's where the Aries influence comes from. The astrological age of Aries is, is simply war and conquer, or at least in that time, you know, in that time. In the future, who knows, some thousands of years from now. You know, I mean, Socrates was put to death, for example, you know. That's very Aries. <laughs> Um, I'm happy, as far as I know, Buddha wasn't put to death, so that's good, that's good. Um, but I know that around the time of Confucius was the, the period of the warring kingdoms. So there you go, war. And so, ah, another aspect. In Greece, the Libran aspect came out in democracy, in 
striving for fairness and equality in citizens. I'm sure I'm sure they still had slaves. We had things to learn about. For sure. Even then. But still, that ideal was there. Pericles in Athens. So even amongst all this war, all this, this conquering Ares, was this search for truth, peace, harmony, balance, fairness, all of that, Libra. So that's that astrological age. Then comes Jesus. <laughs> 